For the final event of the season coming up, the ATP Finals, the groups have been set and we've got some really crazy matches in the group stage, but we're going to go through all the players and what their best case scenario is and maybe some predictions as well. So starting with the groups, we actually have the green and the red group. In the green group, we start with Novak Djokovic as the number one player in the world. Yannick Sinner, the number four player in the world, he goes in there as well. Stefanos Tsitsipas, the number six in the world, he is also in that group. And Holger Runa, the number eight in the world, also in that group. Let's start with Runa and his chances of getting through. He's got a 2-2 record against Djokovic, and of course, they just played an absolute epic last week in Paris. Unfortunately, he lost that match, but still, very competitive. He actually holds a 2-0 winning record over Sinner, the last match being in Monte Carlo this year, so he's got to be happy with that. And he also holds a 2-0 record against Sidzi Pass, but he hasn't played Sidzi Pass in over a year, so things might have changed. His probability of winning the whole tournament is about 5%, which is actually the lowest out of anybody, but this is one of my predictions. I reckon that he might lose to Djokovic in that first match, but I think he can beat Sinner, and I think City Pass is going to be a win as well, and I reckon he might make the semis and get out of this group with the match coming down to who wins out of Sinner versus Runa. I'm going to go Runa just because of the 2-0 head-to-head. Let's go over to City Pass now. He has a losing record against Djokovic. Two wins, 11 losses. They haven't played since the Australian Open, though, back in January. He does have a positive record against Sinner, though, 5-2, and two, but he did lose their last match in Rotterdam at the start of the year, and he has a 0-2 and two record against Runa, and haven't played for over a year, so not sure what to expect there. He's got about an 8% chance of winning the title, and I don't think it's going to be a good tournament for Steph. I reckon he loses to Djokovic. The way Sinner's been playing, I reckon he loses to him, and Runa's just starting to get into form as well, so I reckon he loses all his matches, goes 0-3, and stays in the group stage, doesn't get through to the semis, but it's just a nightmare draw. His best chance, probably Sinner, but then again, as we know, Sinner's been playing really well lately, so I reckon it might be a tough event for Steph. Heading over to Sinner now, the number four in the world. He has a losing record against Djokovic 0-3 with their last match being at Wimbledon and it was a loss there. He has a losing record against City Pass 2-5 but he did win their last match in Rotterdam in February and he has a losing record against Runa 0-2 with their previous match being in Monte Carlo at the start of the clay court season. He's got a good probability of winning the title, though, 14%, but I don't think he beats Djokovic. He might get the win over City Pass, and like I said earlier, I think it comes down to whoever wins out of Runa and Sinner, and I'm back in Runa to beat Sinner. So I reckon he doesn't make the group stage. I reckon he comes down to the wire, and he just misses out because of that Runa loss, but this group's going to be really interesting with some really fun matchups. And heading over to Djokovic now, the world number one. He's actually got a really good record against Sinner, 3-0, with their only match being at Wimbledon in 2023 and Djokovic getting the straight sets win. He's got a good record against City Pass as well. 11 wins, 2 losses. For the last time playing at the Australian Open final this year. And he's got a 2-2 two two record against Runa, having just won their previous match last week in Paris. And that might be his toughest test because Runa has been very good against Djokovic throughout their head-to-head. -head. His probability of winning the tournament, 45%. And my prediction for this one, I reckon he beats Sinner, despite Sinner playing really, really well lately. I just feel like that 3-0 head-to-head -head is so good for Djokovic. I think he beats City Pass because City Pass hasn't been playing super good lately. And also Djokovic just beats Steph most of the time. And I think he just gets through Runa like he did last week. And I reckon he's going to go on and win the whole thing. I think Djokovic should be the champion based on the fact that he can beat pretty much everybody. Maybe when he gets to the semifinals or the final, you know, against Medvedev could be a test. But I reckon he goes 3-0 in the group and goes on to win the whole thing. Heading over to the red group now, we've got Elkaraz, the number two in the world. Medvedev, the number three in the world. Andre Rublev, the number five in the world. And Zverev, the number seven in the world. So a real stacked group in this one. And this one's more random, I think, than maybe the first group. Because the first group, you kind of expect Djokovic to go through. But this one could throw up some weird ones. Let's start with Zverev, though, at the very bottom of the rankings in this group. Number seven, he's going to take on Elkaraz, who he has a even record with, three and three. But he did lose their last match at the US Open a couple of months ago. He has a losing record against Medvedev, seven and ten. And he's played Medvedev so much this year. Their previous match was a loss in Beijing a few weeks ago to Medvedev. He does have a positive record record against Rublev 5-3, but lost in their last match a couple of weeks ago in Vienna. So not great for Zverev coming in against these guys. He has about a 7% chance of winning the whole thing, and I reckon this is going to be tough. I think he loses to Elkaraz. I think he loses to Medvedev, and I think he's probably going to lose to Rublev as well, the way Rublev's been playing. So I don't think he gets out of the group stage. Probably goes 0-3. A little bit like City Pass in the previous group. Going over to Rublev now, the number 5 in the world. Actually never played against Elkaraz before, so that could be a really fun matchup. See them play for the first time. He has a losing record 2 and 
six against Medvedev, including the loss at the US Open a couple of months ago, and a losing record against Verev, three wins, five losses. But he did win that last match in Vienna. He's actually won all three matches against Verev this year. So maybe gaining some confidence in that head-to-head. -head. He's about an 8% chance of winning the whole thing. And I'm going to back Rublev. The way he's been playing lately, I reckon he beats Alcaraz because we're not sure what to expect from Alcaraz. I don't think he beats Medvedev. I think Medvedev will be too solid. And I think he can beat Zverev for a fourth time in a row and make it to the semifinals where he'll probably play against Djokovic in the next group. So really interested to see how Rublev does. I think he's in great form. I know Sin has been the talk of the town, but I reckon Rublev should be considered as well. Jumping over to Medvedev now, the number three in the world. He has a 2-2 two two record against Alcaraz, including a win at the US Open a few months ago. He has a 6-2 record against Rublev, also beating him at the US Open. And he has a 10-7 winning record against Zverev, beating him in Beijing a couple of months ago. He's got about a 14% chance of winning the whole thing. And I reckon Medvedev's going to be a serious threat, not just to the guys in his group, but also to Djokovic down the track. I think he beats Alcaraz on indoor hard courts. I think he beats Rublev. And I think he continues to beat Zverev. And I reckon he might even make it to the final and maybe lose to Djokovic in the end. But I reckon Medvedev's going to be a serious chance of winning this whole thing. Probably the second favorite, in my opinion. And the last player in this group, Alcaraz, the number two in the world. Not sure what to expect from him. Of course, he's been injured lately. Hasn't been great either lately, having a really bad loss in Paris. But he does have a 2-2 record against Medvedev, unfortunately losing their previous match at that US Open. He has never played Rublev, which can can be dangerous. It's also dangerous for Rublev because he's never played Alcaraz. And he has a level record 3-3 three and three against Zverev, having won their previous match at the US Open. But remember, US Open, Zverev had just beaten Sinner and maybe was a little bit tired coming into that match. So we might not have seen the best of that matchup. He is the second favorite to win this event with a 20% chance of winning the whole thing. Which, to be honest, I think it's a little high considering he's never played this event before. And I don't think he's going to get through very far. I don't think he's going to beat Medvedev because Medvedev's playing a lot better lately. And also, he's playing injury-free. I think he might lose that matchup to Rublev. Rublev is looking really confident, but I do think he's going to beat Zverev and at least get one win in his debut, but I don't think he makes it out of the group stage. I think Rublev beats him to take his spot, but it really comes down to what does Elkraz look like physically because we know that if he's playing healthy, he can beat anybody in the world. And if he is playing healthy, he can make the final, he can win the whole thing, but it's so hard to know whether or not Elkraz is actually 100% healthy because if he's not, he's not going to beat some of those guys. So there it is. That is my predictions for everything. Also, the head-to-head -head and all the matches matchups for everything. Let me know down the comments below. Do you agree with my predictions? I picked a little bit of a random one with Rublev and Zverev and a little bit random there with maybe Runa versus Medvedev in a semi and then Rublev versus Djokovic. Not picking Elkris, not picking Sinner. I know people are going to lose their minds because I'm not picking Sinner, but I, look, it's I just think Rublev is going to get through and I think that Runa's going to get through. The way Runa's played the last two weeks, it's so hard not to pick him, especially because he can almost beat Djokovic and if you can almost do that, you can definitely beat Sinner. But let me know down the comments below. Who are you picking to win the whole event and who do you think is actually going to make it out of the group stage this week in Turin?